I'm Sarah. And I'm Sean. Today we're going to animate a spider. And it's Webb in the Desmos graphing calculator. Spooky. <laughs> One way that I can think about this is by starting with the circle and trying to get points along my circle. If we had like a stop sign or octagon or something and a bunch of them, then we kind of start getting this web shape. I want all of those points to connect to zero comma zero. Whoa. <laughs> I know. I, I honestly wish I could explain better why. <laughs> I'm going to send it over to Sean, who is going to make a spider. I have a spider prepared. Again, we use a lot of images in the graphing calculator because they run pretty fast. I have this spider in different parts, and that's because I want to make this spider move. I want the legs to move separate from the body. If you make how the legs move based on something like the Y position, it'll just automatically move its legs. So it just like spin like a helicopter, helicopter spider. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're going to use sign. So maybe 0 0.1. I kind of want to see like less, more. Oh Whoa, my gosh. There we go. It's actually kind of spooky. I don't know about <laughs> <laughs> Very Halloween-y. Okay. I have a crazy idea. You know, I, I love crazy I ideas. I don't know if it's going to work or not. As it wiggles. We go between small leg, long leg. I'm picking up what you're putting it down. We can we can go from here. Oh, oh that's that is getting creepy. I love it. Well, this certainly was a very spooky episode we have we <laughs> we had today. Thanks for watching. Sean, thanks for making this incredible wiggly spider. And we will see you next time. Next time with Sarah and Sean.